hey, today we'll use GitHub Actions as our CI CD to build and publish our Docker images for both the front end and the back end. Hi, I'm Rishabh. This is Rishabh in Cloud. So, in the last video, we created a Docker file and also build the image locally and then pushed it to Docker Hub. In this video, we'll be utilizing GitHub Actions as the CI CD tool to build and publish the Docker images. So, let's get started. So, here is the code we have so far. This is my AWS DevOps capstone project directory. And we have the API, which is in fast API and also the front end Next.js. I also have it cloned locally. These were the Docker files that we created. So this one is for the front end in Next.js. And this one was the Docker file we created for our API. Now, if you remember, we build the Docker images by using Docker build command locally and then we also use the docker push command to push these images to docker hub now what i want to do is have a github action that automatically does this so in order to get started with github action what i'll do is create a new folder within my repository so dot github slash workflows and within that directory i'll create a new yaml file so github actions are written in yaml so let's name this build docker dot yaml and here we'll have a set of instructions for our github action and for better readability i'm gonna vanish and before i start writing yaml i also want to point out that there's an alternative way to create this file and that is through our github repo if you click on actions and if you see github is already recommending me the docker image action if you don't see this you can type in docker image in the search workflows so these are some templates from github actions itself so if i click on configure you'll see that it'll also create the dot github slash workflows directory with a yaml file and it has all these steps already but if you want to do that you can do that directly on the repo itself but I'll go ahead and do it locally. So first thing you have to specify is the name of the action. So we'll name this publish image to Docker build and publish image to Docker hub. And now you can specify when this action will be running. So if you're not familiar with the GitHub actions, there are a bunch of courses and resources available, but this action itself that we'll be creating today is pretty straightforward. I can link some resources if you want to get started with the GitHub Actions as the CI CD tool. And you can also look up some documentation. But as you can see, this action will run on some kind of trigger. So it can be a push, it can be a pull request. But for now, let's leave it to manual. And you can do that by typing in workflow underscore dispatch and you can see copilot is already auto completing it so workflow dispatch will give us a manual button inside the github actions tab for our repo and now we specify some jobs so in this one specifically we'll have just one job which is to publish the image and you can already see there's an autocomplete from copilot but let's just type out so you have to specify the runner, which can be Linux, Windows, and even Mac. So for this action, I'll be using the Ubuntu latest. And now we can specify some steps that it'll perform. So in, in this particular job, we'll have two steps. The first one will be building the Docker image as we did locally. And then the second step would be publishing it to Docker Hub. So same for steps, you need to have a name. So for this one, we will use the checkout. And this uses the actions slash checkout. I believe there is V4 now. So it, this can be V3 or V4. Let me double check. So if we go to our actions tab, look on the default Docker image action that GitHub was suggesting, we can see that there is a V4 for the checkout. So let's go ahead and use checkout V4 instead of v3 and now once we have checked out let's create the build step so we'll name this build image and now we can have either one command or multi-line commands so for this one let's use docker build command to build our image now remember when we were using the docker build command in our 
CLI, we were in the correct directory for either the API or the frontend Next.js. You have to specify the directory where your Docker file is. So in this case, we just can't have a period. Instead, we'll have to specify the directory for the API. So API and dash T. And for our API, let's go to Docker Hub and see what our image name was. So we named it DevOps QR Code Backend. Copy this and paste it here along with our Docker Hub username, which is Rishabh Kumar 7 for me. And also the flag, which is I'll be using the latest one. So every time this GitHub action builds a Docker image, it'll tag it as latest. And if this command is not making sense, I ask you to check out the previous video because I went in depth on explaining on how to tag Docker images and how you can push it to Docker Hub. So we are basically taking those local steps in our action here. And now let's create the push step, which is the pushing image to Docker Hub. Now we'll run. So in order to run multiple line commands, you can have a pipe and then have docker push this is the image that we want to push and there we go so you can see we only have our api or backend docker image being pushed so let's test this out first i'm gonna do Control s go into my git and push this changes to my github repo so added gh action for docker If I go to my GitHub repository, we'll see that we have .github slash workflows folder now. And if I go into actions, you can see I have the build and publish image to Docker Hub. And it also says that this workflow has a workflow dispatch event trigger. Let me zoom in. What that does is it gives us this button to run the workflow. So let's try that out. So you can see workflow run was successfully requested. And now we can look at this job that is being run which is the publish images so right now it's at the build image step which is this so it's building the backend image let's go back to our github action so you can see our publish images job failed because it could not push the image to docker hub and the reason is the access token has insufficient scopes so there is no way for docker here to authenticate to my account on Docker Hub. So locally, as I mentioned in the previous video, I was logged in via my CLI to my Docker Hub account. So we have to provide access for GitHub Actions to do that. And how you can do that is if you go to account settings, scroll down to the personal access token. Now you'll have to create a new token, which will save in our GitHub Actions as a secret. So I'll click on generate new token. We'll give this read and write access. And let's call this GitHub Actions token. Click generate. Now this token, you can only see it once. So I recommend copying it to someplace secure before we can add this to GitHub Actions. So I'm gonna copy this, go to my GitHub repo, click on settings. And on the left-hand side, you can see there is secrets and variables. Click on the dropdown, click on actions. Here, you can see how you can have repository secret. So I'll click on new repository secret, call this Docker Hub token, paste that in here, click on add secret. And now, you can see we have a new repository secret, which we can utilize within our GitHub action. So in order to do that, we'll have to edit the YAML. So let me add a new command before we push, which is the Docker login. So Docker login, you can specify the username here. So my username is Rishabh Kumar 7. And then with dash P, you can specify the Docker token that we just created. So it's secrets.docker underscore hub underscore token. So this will be the name of whatever you had in your secrets. Let me double check that it is Docker hub token. Okay, looks good. And now I can save this file again and commit the changes added docker hub token and let's push these changes out now let's run this workflow and as you can see we have the build and publish image to docker hub running so it's building and there we go we see a green check mark so it's successfully pushed to the docker hub which is what we want and we can double check if we go to the back end image on docker hub you'll see that last push was less than a minute ago awesome so we have our action running now you might be wondering that we only pushed the back end how do we do that for the front end so it's pretty easy we'll use the pipe command here 
and have two commands to run. So first is the Docker build for the backend. Second will be Docker build for the front end. And you can do this as different steps as well. Front end, let me see what the directory is called. Front end next JS. So front end next JS. And let me make sure that this is the image name inside our Docker Hub. So I'm just gonna paste it in here which looks exactly the same. And here too, we'll have two Docker push commands instead of one. So now we have both our backend and frontend images being built by GitHub Action and being pushed to Docker Hub by GitHub Actions. Again, this is done manually because we have the workflow dispatch as trigger. Let's commit those changes to our GitHub repo. So I added Docker image to gh action commit and then push those changes and now we can test if our action works for both front end and back end it was already working for the front end so i'm going to click on run workflow and as you can see we have our action completed if i look at the push image to docker hub it was able to push both of them to my repository inside Docker Hub. And we can check that if I go to repositories, both, both of them have been last pushed in a minute. Awesome. So we have our action building and pushing images to Docker Hub. Now, one thing I would suggest is if you want to leave this to be manually triggered by you within your repository, you can leave this as workflow dispatch, but proper CICD would be to have this pipeline run automatically or this GitHub action run automatically. So how you can do that is we can get rid of the on workflow dispatch and have and have this run on a push. But we don't want to be building the Docker image and pushing it to our Docker hub on every push that we do to the main branch. We only want it to run when Docker file is changed. So how you can do that is let's specify the branch first. So branch, you can specify it by typing in branches and listing the main branch. And then you can also specify something called paths. So this will only look at specific paths of file. So in our case, the first file will be the Docker file in the API directory, and the other one will be frontend Next.js. Instead of using the two stars, which is the wildcard, we'll specify the exact Docker file. And same thing for our frontend. So now this particular action will only run when the Docker file within these two directories are changed, which is exactly what we want. We don't want this action to run on every push to the main branch. So there we go. We now have a CI CD pipeline to push our Docker images for our capstone project. Awesome. So I hope you learned something new in this video. I wanted to cover CI CD, which is continuous integration and continuous deployment, one of the key practices in DevOps. And we utilize that practice to push and publish our Docker images. Please like and comment for the algorithm, and I'll see you in the next part of this series. Peace.